Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Angela and this is a 55 minute strength and flow yoga. Uh, for today's class, if you have any sort of props that could bring the floor to you, such as books, pillows, of course blocks, that would be helpful. Um, if not, don't worry about it. I'll offer modifications and uh, variations throughout the class. And so let's begin this morning in a comfortable seat. And close your eyes or gaze softly at the tip of your nose. And take a moment to bring yourself into the space. Notice the sounds around you. And notice the temperature. And take note of your thoughts. And try to observe without judgment, without reaction. And then shift your attention to your body. Sit up nice and tall. Roll your shoulders up and back. Relax the muscles in your face, your jaw, your tongue, the area between your eyebrows, the third eye sensor. And start to notice your breath. The inhale and the exhale. As you inhale, notice your body rise. And as you exhale, notice it soften and release. On your next exhale, send all the air out. Together, let's take a breath in and sigh it out like you're fogging up a window. Again, inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. This time, seal your lips. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Yogic breathing or ujjayi. Again, inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. And slowly float open your eyes or lift your gaze. Remove anything from underneath your seat. And we'll stay today in our easy seat to begin. So sit nice and tall. Inhale, lift your arms up overhead. Exhale, take a twist over to the right and gaze over your right shoulder. And again, inhale, lift, reach your arms. And exhale, twist to the left. See if you can find some length out of your lower back. And one more, inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Send your left rib cage to the right side. Again, inhale, lift, and exhale, twist. Inhale, come center. Inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, walk your hands forward. And just go as far as it feels available right now. We're just warming up, so be gentle with your body. And then slowly come back up to sit. And switch the crossing of your legs to break habit. And slowly begin to walk your hands forward. And make your way back to sit. And cross your ankles. Roll over your knees and come into a tabletop position onto all fours. So wrists underneath your shoulders. 
and knees underneath your hips. Inhale, arch your spine, gaze towards the ceiling. Exhale, curl and round, gaze towards your navel. Inhale and arch, allow your belly and chest to fall. Exhale, curl and round, push the floor away, create space across your upper back. Continue to move with your own breath, cat cow. And try to sync your breath with your movement. And see if you can allow the breath to initiate the movement. And feel free to add any movement here that feels good. So maybe circle your hips or circle your neck and head. Notice any kinks. And then slowly make your way back to center and exhale all the air out. Send your right leg back, your toes on the mat. And draw your navel towards your spine. Inhale, lift your right leg a few inches. Exhale, draw a little bit longer. Inhale, curl and round, draw your knee towards your nose. And exhale, lengthen, reach through your heel and crown of head. Again, inhale, curl. Exhale, lengthen. And last one, inhale, curl. Exhale, lengthen. Lower your right knee down to meet your left. And switch sides. Send your left leg back, toes on the mat. Engage your core. And lift your left leg a few inches. Exhale, grow long. Lengthen in both directions. Inhale, curl and round. Exhale, lengthen. Again, inhale, curl. And exhale, lengthen. Try and keep everything in the middle. Inhale, curl. And exhale, lengthen. Nice. Lower your left leg down to meet your right. Inhale, extend your right leg back, toes on the mat. Draw your navel towards your spine as you lift your right leg a few inches. Send your left arm forward as though you're going to shake someone's hand. And take a moment to feel stable and steady. This time, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, curl. Draw your elbow and knee together. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl. Last one, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl. Inhale, lengthen. And lower your right knee down to meet your left. And we'll switch sides. You send your left leg back. Engage your core as you lift your leg a few inches. This time, send your right arm forward. And take a moment to feel steady. Inhale, lengthen and exhale. Elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl. Last one. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl. Inhale, lengthen, reach, reach, reach. And exhale, lower everything down to the mat. Take a moment to press back into a child's pose. Reconnect with your breath if you've lost it. So Ujjayi, nostril breathing. And see if you can breathe into your back body. And then slowly make your way back up onto all fours and return to tabletop. And send your right leg back, toes on the mat. And turn your heel down, open your hips to the side wall. And reach your right arm straight to the ceiling for a modified side plank. Ground down through the outer edge of your back foot and reach through your fingertips. And slowly come center. We'll switch sides, send your left leg back. Turn your heel down, plant your right palm, and reach your left arm straight to the ceiling. And then slowly return to neutral. And exhale all the air out. And tuck your toes, bend your seat to the ceiling, downward facing dog. So this is our first down dog of the morning. Maybe pedal your feet and sway your hips from side to side. 
Shake your head yes and no. Whatever feels good here. Just getting in touch with your body. Where it is in space today. And then take a moment to find stillness in down dog. You can bend your knees to lengthen your spine. Send your sit bones high to the ceiling. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. And press all fingers into the mat as though you're smushing marshmallows under your hands, as we say in the kids' classes. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, walk towards the front of the mat, and fold over your legs. And keep a slight bend in your knees, hold opposite elbows, and gently sway your torso from side to side. Imagine there's a door at the top of your head and all the noise, all the chatter, all the worries, just let it go. And then reverse your grip, hold the opposite way. Release your hands down, slowly begin to roll up your spine. Vertebrae by vertebrae, really take your time. Allow your neck and head to be heavy and the last thing to arrive. And take a moment to find mountain pose. So ground down through your feet. Stand up nice and tall, lift your chest. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. With your right hand, grab your left wrist and exhale, lean over to the right. Inhale, come center and exhale, go left. Inhale, center, exhale, right. Last one, inhale, center, exhale, left. Inhale, come center, interlace your hands behind your head. Lift your chest and exhale, arch back. Again, inhale, lift, exhale, arch, find a back bend in your upper back. One more, inhale, lift, arch back as far as you can. And slowly come center, release your arms by your side. Take a moment here to close your eyes or lower your gaze. And if you'd like to set an intention today for your practice, offering your efforts to someone in need, if that resonates with you, you can do so now. Or perhaps that person is yourself. So maybe choose an affirmation or a phrase such as, I am energized. I am inspired, I am blessed. These are just examples. And something to support you throughout the practice. And when you're ready, slowly open your eyes or lift your gaze and come to the front of your mat. Let's take a breath in and a breath out. Inhale, reach your arms overhead, look at your thumbs. Exhale, fold forward, hands to prop or hands to floor. Inhale, find a flat back, reach the crown of your head forward. Exhale, step your right foot back, low lunge. Left foot meets right, come into a plank. Lower all the way down to the mat, resist gravity as you go. Inhale, slide forward to a low cobra. Find a little back bend. Exhale, feet to heels. And downward facing dog. And take three breaths in down dog. And so as a, throughout the practice, if your mind starts to wander, you try to allow the thoughts to pass over and bring your attention back to your breath, tracing the inhale and the exhale. Lift your heels, bend your knees, walk to the front of the mat, and fold over your legs. Inhale, rise up, look at your thumbs. Exhale, fold right back forward, hands to floor, hands to prop. Inhale, find a flat back, draw your navel towards your spine. Exhale, step your left foot back, low lunge. Right foot meets left, come into a plank. Listen carefully, this time lower halfway chaturanga, 
Bring your elbows towards your rib cage. Inhale, upward facing dog. Press into the tops of your feet, lift your knees up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold here and breathe. So friends, as we flow today, I'll cue for Chaturanga into upward facing dog, but you always have the option of lowering down to the mat and taking a low cobra. So choose what's ever best for your body. Lift your heels, bend your knees, step or jump to the front of the mat, and fold over your legs. Inhale, rise up, look at your thumbs. Exhale, mountain pose, Tadasana. Inhale, hook your thumbs, reach up, arch back. Exhale, fold forward, interlace your hands behind your back, draw your fists away. Hands down, next to feet, step right foot back, low lunge. Left foot meets right, come into a plank. Lower halfway chaturanga, modified push up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, step your right foot forward, big step, find low lunge. Exhale, left foot meets right. Fold over your legs and interlace your hands behind your back. Inhale, hook thumbs, reach up, arch back. Then we'll switch sides, come right back forward. Interlace your hands and fold. Hands down, neck to feet. Left foot back, low lunge. Right meets left, come into a plank. Lower chaturanga, four to the floor. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, step your left foot forward, low lunge. Exhale, right foot meets left, fold over your legs, interlace your hands. <laughs> Inhale, hook thumbs, reach up, arch back. And exhale, mountain pose, Tadasana. Nice, slow. Take a breath in and a breath out. And so we'll, we'll repeat that sequence with a few changes. Just listen to my cue. Inhale, hook your thumbs, reach up, arch back. Exhale, fold forward, interlace your hands, fold over your legs. Hands down next to feet, right foot back. Low lunge, lower your back knee down and untuck your toes. Reach your arms overhead, crescent moon or anjane asana. Take a moment to find the pose. Hands down next to feet, tuck your back toes, lift your knees, step left foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale forward to a plank, lower chaturanga or to the floor. Inhale upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step your right foot forward, low lunge. Listen carefully, lower your back knee down and tuck your toes, arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward, bring your left foot to meet your right and interlace your hands. Inhale, hook your thumbs, reach up, arch back. Other side, exhale, fold forward, interlace your hands. Hands down next to feet, step left foot back, lower your back knee down and reach your arms overhead on the asana. Hands down next to feet, tuck your back toes, make your way to downward facing dog. Inhale forward to a plank, lower halfway chaturanga. Inhale upward facing dog. Exhale downward facing dog. Inhale, step your left foot forward, lower your back knee down, arms overhead, Anjane Asana. Inhale here and exhale, bring your right foot to meet your left, fold over your leg. Inhale, hook your thumbs, reach up, march back. And exhale, mountain pose, Tadasana. So hopefully we're all awake now. <laughs> if we weren't already, And we'll take a breath in and a breath out. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose, bend your knees, reach your arms overhead. 
reach your fingertips to the sky. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift, find a flat back. Exhale, step or jump, back to chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step your right foot forward, rise to warrior one, and hold warrior one. And square both hip points forward. Feet are on railroad tracks, so not in a straight line. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, lengthen, and grow tall, press your palms to the back as you straighten your front leg. And exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Last one, inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten, interlace your hands and lift your chest. Exhale, fold forward, devotional warrior. And try and bring both shoulders on the inside of your right knee. And breathe here. Oftentimes when we feel constricted in a pose, we tend to lose our breath or hold our breath. See if you can use the breath to create some space, create some softness. And inhale, rise to stand. Hop your back foot in until your feet are about three to a half feet apart. Option two, hold opposite elbows. Or take secret prayer. You can also simply leave your hands by your side. Inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, fold forward, pyramid pose, moving through a flat back. And then relax your neck and head. Keep a slight bend in your right knee. And breathe into your hamstring. And take a moment to check in with your thoughts once again. And decide if it's something that serves you and brings you joy and happiness. Or if it's something that's not supportive, that no longer serves you, that you would like to shift. And think about how you could shift to the next best thought or to a different thought altogether. Inhale, stay low, gaze forward. Begin to lift your left leg. You can loose the bind, coming into warrior three. Find a little hang time. Flex your back foot strong. Reach through your heel and through the crown of your head. Draw your navel towards the, your spine to steady the pose. And take one more breath here. And then take a big step back. Lower your back knee down. Return to Anjane Asana or Crescent Moon. And feel free to lose the arms at any point. And then release your hands down, frame your front foot, tuck your back toes and lift your knee. Plant your left palm down, and step your right leg on top of your left and reach your right arm straight to the ceiling. Side plank or Vashi Sasana, option to modify, you can place your right foot on the mat. You stay here, or if you'd like to bump it up a notch, lift your right leg a few inches and reach your right arm overhead. And stay here or bring your elbow towards your knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl. One more. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, curl. Inhale, lengthen. Return to a plank. And press back to downward facing dog or take a vinyasa. Vinyasa is just chaturanga into up dog, and it's always optional as we transition from one side to the other. And we'll all meet in downward facing dog. Take a moment to reset and reconnect with your breath if you've lost it. Inhale, step your left foot forward, rise to warrior one. And hold warrior one. 
This time, send your right hip forward and left hip back. Ground down through the outer edge of your back foot. So reach your fingertips to the sky and relax your shoulders. Inhale, lengthen, grow tall. Press your palms to the back. Exhale, bend, return to warrior one. So find a little flow here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend. And last one, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend. Inhale, lengthen, interlace your hands. See if you can hold the opposite way. Lift your chest. And exhale, fold forward, devotional warrior. And breathe here. Try and square your hips to the front. Again, bring both shoulders on the inside of your left knee this time. And then inhale, slowly rise to stand. And shorten your stance, coming into pyramid pose. If you'd like to take an arm variation, hold opposite elbows or secret prayer. Try and mirror whatever you did on the other side. Right, we're trying to create a sense of evenness in the body. Inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, move through a flat back, fold forward into pyramid pose. And then once you've gone as far as you can, release your neck and head. You can also place your hands on your props to bring the floor to you if the stretch is too intense. gaze forward, bend your left knee and begin to lift your right leg. And coming into warrior three, feel free to lose the bind. And see how long you can get. So lengthen through your heel, through the crown of your head, and then draw everything into the midline of your body. So lift your navel in and up. And yoga we call this Molabanda. Find that internal lift, a sense of buoyancy. Take one more breath here. And then take a big step back and lower your back knee down and tuck your toes. Bend your arms overhead or keep the bind. Anjane Asana, crescent moon. See if you can find a little more space since we've been here before. And then release your hands down and tuck your back toes and lift your knee. This time, plant your right palm down. Ashikasana or side plank. Stack your left leg. Take a modification if you need. And reach your left arm straight to the ceiling. If you'd like to go further, lift your leg a few inches and extend your left arm overhead. You stay here or Bring your elbow towards your knee and inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl. Last one, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, return to a plank. Press back to downward facing dog. Take a vinyasa or hold down dog. Again, vinyasa is just chaturanga into upward facing dog whenever we switch sides. They're always optional if at any point you need a break, simply sit on your heels, take a child pose. Inhale, lift your right leg high, down dog kick. Exhale, step through, rise to a high lunge. So Hips are forward facing. Rise onto the ball of your left foot. Engage your left quad. Bend your elbows out to the side. Find cactus spine. Inhale, lift and grow tall. Exhale, bend. Again, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend. Last one, inhale, lift. And exhale, bend. Inhale, lift. See if you can keep your arms overhead for a warrior three variation. Press off your back foot. We've been here before. And if you're working on balance and you fall out, 
Speaking of, come right back in. All right, it's a practice, not a perfect. And oftentimes how we are on our mat is how we are off of our mat. Let's take one more breath here. And then begin to move into half moon. So place your right hand a few inches in front of your right foot. Face this way. Open everything up to the side wall. And then if you feel steady, maybe you reach your left arm overhead. Maybe you bow the leg, touch the ankle or the foot. These are all options. Variations are always optional. And then take a big step back, find warrior two. Adjust your stand if you need. Reach your arms in opposite directions and gaze softly over your fingertips. Inhale, shorten your stance. So walk your back foot in a little bit and exhale, triangle pose. So the crown of your head forward, hips back. Imagine that you're in between two panes of glass. So see if you can lean back a little bit, keep an open chest, an open heart, open to receiving. And inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, return to warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, bend your front knee. Reach your right arm back. Rotate your right thigh out a little so your knee is over your toe. You feel a nice stretch through your right side body. And then inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, modify that angle. Place your right forearm on your thigh. Reach your left arm overhead. Stay here or Extended side angle B, place your right hand outside of your right foot. I like to use a prop to keep my chest open. Bring your top arm down and across your body. And this is so that your shoulder is in the correct placement. And continue to spin your heart center to the sky. And then slowly lower your Left hand down, pop your back foot in, we're coming back to pyramid pose. So as we repeat the poses, see if you notice any, any difference as your body uh, is a little bit more warm. And see where you can perhaps make small shifts in the pose. Make small shifts over time result in big changes. And then inhale, gaze forward. Again, you are standing leg a little, reach your left leg high, find a standing split, reach your toes to the sky. And maybe if you'd like to play with the balance, one hand grabs your ankle, maybe the other does too. If you're trying to balance, be sure to gaze forward. You can also take some handstand hops here if you're feeling energetic. Or if you have a handstand practice, you can take that now. And then once you've had enough, <laughs> make your way back to downward facing dog. You can take a vinyasa or hold down dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high, down dog kick. Exhale, step through and rise to high lunge. Everything is forward facing. Engage your right quad, lift your kneecap. And then exhale, bend your elbows out to the sides. Find cactus arms. Inhale, lift, grow tall. And exhale, bend. Again, inhale, lengthen, exhale, bend. 
Last one, inhale, lift. And exhale, bend. Inhale, lift. Exhale, push off your back leg, coming into the warrior three variation. You can also lose the arms. And square your hips to the mat, flex your back foot strong. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. And then slowly begin to move into half moon. So bring your left hand a few inches in front of your left foot as you open your hips up to the side wall. Maybe you begin with your hand on your hip to steady the pose. And then if you'd like to try variation, reach your top arm, catch the foot or the ankle. Or maybe you just imagine in your mind's eye that you're taking the next Step. Right, visualize yourself going a little bit further. And then take a big step back. Find warrior two. Mm -hmm. Adjust your stance energetically. Pull your mat in opposite directions with your feet. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. And inhale, rise to stand. Shorten your stance just a little bit. Triangle pose, send your hips back. Crown of head forward. To reach your right arm straight to the ceiling. So try to take the bend out of your top arm. Lengthen through both sides of your waist, especially the underside. You tend to relax. And then inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, return to warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, bend your front knee, reach your left arm back. Find some space in your left rib cage. And inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, modified side angle, left arm on your thigh and right arm overhead. Stay here or if you took Extended side angle B on the other side. Place your left hand outside of your left foot. Reach your top arm down and across your body. Relax your shoulder away from your ear. So imagine that your shoulder, use this analogy, is like a parent trying to hold the kids back. And your fingertips are like the kids and they want to run away. And so find that opposition. And then lower your right hand down, pop your back foot in, coming back to pyramid pose. And see if you can find a curiosity in your practice. So how can you make this one a little bit different than the first one? How can you tweak it, make a small shift or a change? Or maybe the, the shift is in your in your thoughts, right? Not in the physical pose itself, but in what you're thinking and the tape that's playing in your mind, the things that you're saying to yourself. And then inhale, gaze forward. Bend your standing leg, reach your right leg high, find a standing split. And then you can stay here. And try and balance. Again, if you're balancing, gaze forward at the floor in front of you. Or maybe take some handstand hop. I'm always afraid to go for it here that I'm going to fall into the playpen. <laughs> but if you have a handstand practice, you can take that now. And then we'll all meet in downward facing dog. Nice flow. Inhale, lift your right leg high down, dog kiss. Exhale, step through, come to a low lunge. Lower your back knee down and untuck your toes. Bend your back leg, reach around, touch your foot or your ankle, coming into a quad stretch. And this is a really big muscle group, we tend to 
grip here holds a lot of um, tightness. There's also the center floor here and resistance. So see if you can use your breath to create a little space, create a little softness. And then release your back leg. Slowly begin to straighten your right leg, moving into uh, runner's lunge or half split pose. And flex your front foot. Extend your right hip a little bit back and see if you can flatten out your lower back. Breathe into your hamstring. And then slowly come forward, turn your left leg towards the back. So we're gonna play here just for a moment if you're up for it. <laughs> With the first two fingers, grab your right big toe and you'll be toe lock. And then maybe you begin to straighten your right leg. So this is like foreshadowing of what's coming next. <laughs> so feel free to stay here or Plant your uh, left palm down, come into side plank, Vashisthasana, we've been here before. With the first two fingers, grab your big toe and yogi toe lock, and then see if you can extend your leg towards the sky. And then slowly return to a plank. And press back to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high, down dog kick. Exhale, big step through, find a low lunge. Lower your back knee down and untuck your toes, reach around, catch your foot or your ankle. You can also place something underneath your right hand to bring the floor to you. Take a moment to reconnect with your breath if you've lost it. And then release your back leg. Begin to straighten your left leg this time. Flex your front foot strong. And try and square your hips. So send your left hip back a little bit. And try and flatten out your lower back. And breathe into your hamstring. And then slowly turn your right leg towards the back. So this is just a bit of playfulness in the practice, right? Your mind just not to take everything so seriously. Grab uh, your left big toe and then slowly begin to play with straightening your leg. And stay here, or if you'd like to go further, Plant your right palm. Come into side plank or Vashisthasana. And then take the toe lock. And maybe you begin to straighten your top leg. And slowly make your way to a plank. Press back to downward facing dog. Take a vinyasa here, hold down dog. At any time, if you need a break, child's pose is always available, or simply sit on your heels. I think I forgot to rotate the fan today, <laughs> so let me do that. I should have done this a lot earlier. But sweating is good, right? We get the toxins out. <laughs> All right, so simply come to sit on your heels for a moment. Um, separate your feet mat distance apart. So keep your knees together. And then gently begin to lower your seat between your feet. If you need some support here, place a prop underneath your seat to bring the floor to you. This is Hero's pose. Make sure that your toes are pointing straight back. And if you'd like to recline here, that's always an option. If you're sitting upright, place your right palm on top of your left. 
and take a moment to close your eyes, go inward. And notice the effects of the yoga practice. And so the prana or energy that's flowing throughout your body. Notice your heart beating. Notice your breath and how it might be different from when we started. Perhaps take a moment to recall your intention or affirmation if you set one today. And when you're ready, slowly open your eyes or lift your gaze. Take your time coming out of this pose. So come on to all fours into the tabletop first. And then extend your right leg back. Extend your left leg back. And extend your right. This time extend your left, come into a plank. Lower all the way down onto your tummy or just gravity as you go. And setting up your lotus pose or shalabhasana. Zip your uh, feet together, legs together, arms by your side, and palms face up. And when you're ready, lift everything up as though you're flying. You gaze down at the floor in front of you to the back of your neck as long. Reach through your feet and through the crown of your head. Take one more breath, see if you can lift a little higher. And then lower one foot down to the mat and walk your hips from side to side, release your lower back. And bend your knees, grab your ankles, setting up for bow. And when you're ready, kick your feet into your hands and lift everything up. Remember to breathe. We know that if we lose our breath, we've gone too far. And then slowly release down, turn your cheek to the other side, and wrap your hips from side to side. So repeat that pose or take a variation, bend your knees, grab the insides of your ankles, flex your feet, and then kick your feet into your hands and lift everything up. Perhaps you'll feel a deeper stretch across your chest. And then gently release down. And turn your cheeks to one side and wrap your hips. Roll over onto your back, coming into bridge pose. And bend your knees. And feet are hip distance apart in parallel. If you'd like to take a restorative posture here, you can place a prop underneath your lower back and allow the prop to support you while your lower back is mounted to the block. If you're moving into bridge, bring your heels close to your seat. So fingertips raise your heels. And then when you're ready, lift your lower, middle, upper back. Interlace your hands under your tailbone, roll your shoulders under. And breathe into your chest. And press into your heels to lift your hips. And ground down through the outer edges of your feet, engage your glutes. And then slowly begin to lower. If you're in the restorative posture, just feel free to stay there. Everyone else, windshield wiper your knees from side to side. So just drop your knees from right to left. And we'll repeat bridge or take wheel if it's in your practice. And if you're taking wheel, hands come by your ears. When you're ready, press off into either bridge or wheel. In wheel, see if you can find the back bend in your upper back. So 
press into your feet. Send your chest through your arms. And then slowly make your way down, upper, middle, lower back. This time separate your feet mat distance apart. If you're in the restorative posture, you can remove the prop and allow your knees to fall in towards one another. So feel your lower back widen and expand. And then hug your knees into your chest. Give them a little squeeze, make small circles with your knees on the ceiling. So go in one direction and then reverse the circle. And pay attention here to your lower back. A nice little massage for your sacrum. And then hug your right knee into your chest. Draw your left leg long along the mat. A couple options here. You can either with the first two fingers, grab your big toe and yogi toe lock and begin to straighten your right leg. You can also modify this posture and place your left foot on the mat. If the toe lock is too much, you can hold underneath your hamstring, your calf, your ankle, whatever available. So once you've chosen your pose, close your eyes and try to just feel what's going on with your body, right? So don't worry so much about what it looks like, the shape. And just feel the posture. And then slowly hug your right knee into your chest. Draw your right knee across your body. Keep your left leg long. For a reclining twist, you gaze over your right shoulder. Try and relax your right shoulder as much as possible. And just close your eyes, let everything go. And slowly make your way center. Hug your right knee in, and then extend your right leg to meet your left. And switch sides, draw your left knee in. And take the same variation you did on the other side. So either the toe lock, you can also modify, place your foot on the mat, right foot on the mat, or simply hold underneath your thigh, your calf, or your ankle. and relax your upper body. And then once you have your pose, try to close your eyes and just allow everything to settle. And use your breath to breathe into any areas of tightness or tension. And then hug your left knee in. Draw your left knee across your body. And gaze over your left shoulder. For a reclining twist. Just allow everything to melt into the floor and feel the support of the floor from the bottom up. Slowly come center, hug both knees into your chest. Begin to rock and roll up and down your spine. So pull back and forth a few times. 
noticing where your back hits the mat until you come up to sit. Extend both legs in front, seated forward fold or Ashimokanasana. Find your sit bones on the ground so you can rock back and forth a little. Flex your feet strong. And place your hands by your hips. Inhale, lift tall. And exhale, fold forward. You can bend your knees here if you need to. Hold either your ankles, your toes if you hit the bind. Just make sure you have some point of contact with your body. And again, close your eyes. Use this time to go inward. So perhaps connect with your breath. Connect with your intention, your affirmation. Or check in with your thoughts. So the yoga practice is a moving meditation. And one of the things that we practice in meditation is observing our thoughts and decide if it's something that serves you or no longer serves you and if it's not supportive how how can you change the thought slowly make your way up to sit and draw your right knee into your chest. Place the sole of your right foot against your left inner thigh. Inhale, sit tall, and exhale. Fold forward. Center your sasana. Again, just make sure you have some contact with your body. Slowly come up to sit. Extend your right leg to meet your left, and most switch sides. Place the sole of your left foot against your right inner thigh. Inhale, lift tall, and exhale, fold forward. So you come up to sit, extend your left to meet your right. Final pose, bring the soles of your feet together, allow your Knees to fall out to the side, Sarasana, Star Pose. Inhale, lift your chest and exhale, draw the crown of your head towards the soles of your feet, rounding your spine. And slowly come up to sit. And if you're ready to rest, keep your lower body exactly where it is. Come to lie down on your back. Maybe place one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. If you'd like to seal the practice with an inversion, either shoulder stand or head stand, you can take that now. Just choose something down regulating as we prepare to rest. And if you're inverting, take your time. Everyone else, begin to make your way into Shavasana, final rest pose. Extend your legs long along the mat. Allow your feet to fall out to the side. Palms face up. Relax your shoulders down to the mat. And close your eyes. 
and simply rest. Let everything go. Your only job right now is to rest. Feel free to stay in Shavasana rest pose for the final few moments of class. Or begin to make small movements with your fingers and toes. And gently move your head from side to side. When you're ready, roll to one side and pause here. And keeping your eyes closed, slowly make your way to a comfortable seat. Bringing our hands to heart center. May you be happy and healthy. May you be kind and caring. May you be safe and loved. May you know that all is well. Namaste.